In our morning checkup, you've probably heard that positive thinking will lead to positive outcomes. Now when it comes to aging, research is proving it. Maureen Smith has absolutely no interest in being put out to pasture. I stay pretty busy most of the time. I exercise on a regular basis. Just started doing cardio kickboxing. And she doesn't give a second thought to the fact that she's nearly 70. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. To me, age, it's a number. It's what you allow it to be. Professor Siobhan Newpert and her team wanted to test if the everyday things that remind older adults of their age actually affect their health and well-being. For nine straight days, researchers asked 116 volunteers the same questions about aging, such as whether their thinking was slower. We found that in general, it is good to feel like you have a positive outlook on your aging, that people who feel that they're just as happy now as they were when they were younger, tended to report fewer negative experiences with their aging on a daily basis. But that positive attitude also has a delicate downside. Those same people who felt really good about their aging in general were the ones that were the most vulnerable to threats to that feeling of positivity. So on days when they did experience something that was somewhat negative related to their aging, they had a more steep increase in their bad mood. Maureen's positive outlook comes naturally, while many other older Americans have to work at it. But research now shows either way, the best way to age is to build resilience to face stressful situations. And Professor Newport also says there are many good things that come with getting older too, including an increased vocabulary, better emotion regulation, and stress management. We have posted more information on our website, abc7chicago.com.